Hey guys and gals, it's Sweet Project Cars, a cool trick in affordable ways for the do-it-yourselfer and simple ways. Today, we, Julio, tell everybody where all the tools are at and get you right out of the way. We have done the cleaning of the injectors, the injector rail. We have checked the resistance on all of the injectors. These are the new injectors that we're going to be installing. And this is our fandangled special cleaning mixture that works like a charm. So go to the video in the description and see that, or it's the last video that we did. We are going to check the injector wiring harness to make sure that we have a signal to each and every one of the injectors. And again, if you want to know this mixture, all you have to do is go to the last video that we did. You'll love it. You can do each injector singularly or all at the same time with our fancy dancy soon to be coming video on our pressure tank cleaning system. Let's get cracking. All right, hopefully you can see this. I'll have to get up close once in a while, but we're going to check the harness now, all the plug-ins. We're going to use this little fan dangler right here, and this is the slickest thing since sliced bread. I'm not kidding you. It's way better using this Noid light right here than using the plug-in individual ones. You can swing these out to fit any size uh, plug, and all you do is just put it together, slide it in like that, and we'll stick this on the windshield. Hopefully you can see that up there. I'll crank it over and we'll see if it flashes. That's a no-go. That's number one that we were having problems with. Now we'll test three. Nada. Now we're going to test five. Keep your eye on the little light up there. That is the slickest thing since sliced bread, just like I told you. And I turned the shop lights out so you could see it better. But you could stick that anywhere you want. And again, this just swings out to any size you want, and it's got a long cord on it. I now know that it's either the plug or in the harness or the ECU. So we're getting this zeroed down to making this vehicle run like a top. But the key thing is I did get new injectors for it, which is fine. If this thing runs smooth and clean and I get the motor mounts changed and the engine's sitting there purring, that's going to really help in the sale. Plus I have the receipts for everything that was done to it. And you have to do this kind of work yourself. You can never afford on a vehicle this old to pay somebody to do it. So there you go. Handiest tool ever. We found it. We pulled the whole harness out, the injector harness, and here's what we got. First off, I saw that those wires right in there. And they're all touching each other and doing all kinds of whatnot. Then you peel this back, Velcro garbage. Take a look at this. All those bare wires. They've all melted together. So it's no wonder there wouldn't have been in a there wouldn't have been 5,000 million gallons of injector cleaner that would have got that fixed. So we're just gonna order a new uh, harness for it, and I think they're not that much. But that's it. Peel the rest of this off. Blue bomber's gonna run good. We get done. That's all bare wire, all touching each other. Bad design. Sweet project cars, out.